On a January morning in 2017, a group of Tasmanian fishermen went out to sea in their small boat as usual. They had been fishing off the southeastern coast of Tasmania for many years. The day was clear and the sea was calm. The weather promised a good catch and nothing foreshadowed any unusual events. Suddenly, a couple of hours later, one of the fishermen noticed an unusual object in the water. It was a large sea turtle floating on the surface of the sea. The fishermen were very surprised as they knew that sea turtles are extremely rare in these waters. The people moved closer to examine the animal. What they saw truly shocked them. The turtle's shell was completely covered with barnacles and other marine organisms. The turtle looked very weak and exhausted, and it seemed to be on the verge of life and death. The fishermen immediately understood that the animal needed urgent help. They decided to try to lift the turtle on board. This turned out to be no easy task. The turtle was very large and heavy. For three hours, the fishermen tried to pull the animal into the boat. They used nets and ropes to lift the constantly slipping turtle from the water. Finally, they managed to do it. The people breathed a sigh of relief when the turtle was on board. The fishermen carefully examined the animal. It was a loggerhead turtle, a rare endangered species listed in the Red Book. Its shell was 35 inches long, and it weighed about 220 pounds. The turtle's shell was completely covered with barnacles, mollusks, and algae. Some of them had deeply embedded themselves in the turtle's bone structure, causing the poor creature a lot of pain. The turtle was so weak that it did not resist the actions of the people. It could not even move. The animal lay motionless and breathed heavily. The fishermen realized they needed to urgently take it ashore for help. They contacted the Marine Conservation Program in Hobart via radio. The organization specialists responded immediately and promised to meet the fishermen on the shore. The boat headed to the nearest port at full speed, and the fishermen understood that they would likely end up with almost no catch today. The crew constantly poured water over the turtle to prevent it from drying out. They were very worried about its condition and hoped that it would survive. Two hours later, the boat docked. A team of specialists from the Marine Conservation Program was already waiting on the pier. They immediately began examining the turtle. The veterinarians conducted a preliminary examination right on the pier. They measured the turtle's body temperature and took blood samples for analysis. The animal's condition was assessed as critical. The turtle was carefully placed in a special water container and taken to the nearest Marine Animal Rehabilitation Center, where a more thorough examination awaited. The first thing they did was take an X-ray of the turtle. The doctors feared that it might have swallowed plastic waste or fishing gear. Fortunately, the X-ray did not show any foreign objects in the animal's stomach. Then the veterinarians began removing the barnacles and other organisms from the turtle's shell. This was very painstaking work. Each barnacle had to be removed separately to avoid damaging the turtle's delicate skin. This exhausting process took several hours. The doctors worked in shifts to avoid tiring the animal while trying to finish their work as quickly as possible. Gradually, the turtle's shell was freed from numerous parasites. After the barnacles were removed, it became clear that they had caused the animal significant harm. Almost the entire shell was covered with wounds and sores. Some barnacles had penetrated deep into the bone tissue. The veterinarians treated all the wounds with antiseptics. Then they applied a special healing ointment to speed up the recovery of the damaged tissues. The turtle was put on a drip with a nutrient solution. Its body was severely depleted and needed replenishing with minerals and vitamins. The turtle spent several days under constant medical supervision. Its condition slowly but surely improved. The veterinarians were very pleased when it finally began showing signs of activity. The specialists developed a special diet for the turtle. They fed it small fish, squid, and shrimp. Gradually, the animal began eating on its own, and its appetite significantly improved. A week later, the turtle could already swim in a small pool. The doctors were pleased with the progress of its recovery, and that they had managed to save the rare animal. Meanwhile, the specialists tried to understand how the turtle ended up so far from its usual habitat. Loggerhead turtles usually live in warmer waters off the coast of Queensland and Western Australia. The scientists suggested that the turtle might have followed the current in search of food and accidentally ended up in the cold waters of Tasmania. 
the low water temperature weakened its immune system and made it vulnerable to parasites, which immediately took advantage of its helpless state. A month later, the turtle's condition had significantly improved. The wounds on its shell had healed, it had gained weight and strength. The doctors decided that soon it could be released back into the ocean. The specialists chose a suitable release site, the warm waters off the northern coast of Tasmania. There, the currents would carry the turtle to more familiar habitats. Before releasing the turtle, they attached a special tag to it. This would allow the scientists to track its movements and gather data on its condition. The release day turned into a real celebration. Dozens of people gathered on the beach rescuers, veterinarians, volunteers, and just concerned citizens. Everyone wanted to see the turtle off on its new journey. The people carefully carried the animal to the shore and placed it at the water's edge. For a few seconds it lay motionless on the sand, as if getting used to the new surroundings. Then the turtle slowly crawled towards the water. When the first wave touched its flippers, it seemed to come alive. With a few strong strokes, the turtle plunged into the water and swam away. The people on the shore applauded and cheered. Many couldn't hold back their tears. Everyone understood that they had witnessed a miracle, the rescue of a rare animal from certain death. The specialists continued to monitor the turtle's movements using the tag. In the first few days, it stayed close to the shore, as if gathering strength before the long journey. A week later, the turtle headed north towards the Great Barrier Reef. The scientists were glad to see that the animal was confidently moving in the right direction, and that soon it would be home. This story of the rescue of a loggerhead turtle shows how important joint efforts are for the conservation of wildlife. Fishermen, veterinarians, scientists, volunteers, everyone contributed to the rescue of the rare animal. However, the problems that sea turtles face remain very serious. Ocean pollution with plastic waste poses a huge threat to these animals. Turtles often mistake floating plastic bags for jellyfish and swallow them. The plastic gets stuck in their stomachs, interfering with normal digestion and can lead to the animal's death. Another serious problem is parasites, such as sea barnacles and goose barnacles. They attach to the turtle's shell, forming large colonies. This prevents the turtles from swimming and can cause serious shell damage. In some cases, the colonies of parasites grow so large that they cover the turtle's eyes, depriving them of the ability to navigate in the water. This makes the animals easy prey for predators. Another threat is the destruction of turtle nesting sites. On many beaches where turtles used to lay their eggs, hotels and other tourist infrastructure are now built. This deprives the animals of the ability to reproduce. Poaching also remains a serious problem. Sea turtle eggs are considered a delicacy in some countries, leading to the mass looting of nests. Climate change also greatly affects sea turtle populations. Rising water temperatures and sea levels are changing the usual habitats of these animals. Despite all these problems, the story of the rescue of the loggerhead turtle off the coast of Tasmania gives us all hope. It shows that through joint efforts, people can help preserve these amazing creatures for future generations. Each rescued turtle is a small victory in the big fight for the preservation of our planet's biodiversity. And each of us can contribute to this fight from simply refusing plastic bags to participating in marine animal protection programs.